guys! Welcome YouTube! This is my house again. You haven't seen me in a while, probably. Some of you have probably never seen me before. Some of you have never even heard me before. It's because some of you have never watched me before. Sorry about this annoying light. I'll turn it off now. Anyway, okay, I'm not turning off that way. That was too scary for me. It's dark down here. Anyways, guys, sorry about that. You'll have to ignore me later. I can... I, there we go. Happy me again. Happy me again. It works. Anyways, guys, so... I haven't posted in a while, and that's because I've been waiting for 25 subs to make a subscriber special. And I know most people don't have a 25 sus subscriber special. Anyways, you can give a strength if you read my shirt. It's backwards, but it's cool. I, I don't know. I just got to film it a bit accidentally, and I'm like, I, I need to show these guys. So anyways, guys, this is my 25 subscriber special. We're going to show off some rejected Fakemon for my Fakemon games. We're going to take you on a walk through memory garden. And I think that's all we have planned for tonight. Maybe I'll throw something at the end. Probably not. You're not going to say anything else. So, guys, hope you enjoy. Check it out. You'll like it, I think. I don't know. I'm not you. I can't, I can't tell you what to like. I just hope you do. So, anyways, guys, see ya soon. Because you're going to see me in about two seconds reviewing some rejected Fakemon. And a couple weird non rejected Pokemon. Check it out. Hey guys! Um, welcome, welcome everyone. 25 subscriber special. You already know that. But I'm reminding you for all of those who are just joining us now. And know how we, I know what it was to remind you? That was easy. It was easy to remind you. I, I don't know. I have an easy button to watch press at one point. Technically, it's my brother's easy button. I don't care. I just. I just use your easy button, Max. He's not here right now. He doesn't care. Um, so guys, as promised, I have some rejected Fakemon to show you. So, let's go straight to the eye, I guess. It's gonna be pretty cool. So, some Fakemon maybe shouldn't have been rejected. This one was only rejected because there's too many colors and it doesn't look like a Pokemon at all. So I guess it should have been rejected. Yeah, kind of works. This guy, I, I like him. He... But he's rejected, and so are, and therefore so are his evolutions. Contrant and Gamorilla. Compliments to the sprite of the controllers that were donated. I just converted them to Pokemon. And thank you for donating those again. Anyways, here's another rejected Pokemon. Snakey. I never hated Snakey. This doesn't look right. It doesn't look like a sprite at all. He looks more like a painting or something. That's weird, so... He's not getting in the game. I'll show you one that's definitely not getting in the game. Ninjago. Because he's, he's not a Pokemon. He's just shit. So I shouldn't use that word. He's not good. He's a bad Pokemon in every way. Unfortunately. He just doesn't look like a Pokemon at all. He looks more like an NPC sprite or something. Here's a couple that surprisingly made the cut. Got Jesus Mon. Alright, he's not that much of a surprise. It's hilarious. Of course, I'm keeping him. He's my favorite thing ever in the history of ever, besides all my ever favorite things ever in the history of ever. I have a lot of favorite things ever in the history of ever. Just as most people. They, most people who know me know that. But this is one of them. He's, I just think he's silly looking. He's funny. And he's been an ongoing joke throughout my thing, and it would be awful not to keep him now. Just so many people are interested in getting them, I find. So we're keeping him. That means we're also keeping Untitled. Yep, that's its name. I don't know if I've shown you this guy before. He looks like a Minecraft villager. Pretty much is. I just converted him into a Pokemon sprite using a sprite converter. And it looks weird. But weird enough to keep. So we're keeping him. And the last weird one we're keeping is Obsidagon. Because he's weird as hell. Heck. Whatever. The one word that, ah, you know, insert appropriate, semi-appropriate phrase for young age group here. I'm going to say hell. I don't care. Anyways, he is really weird. He looks like a Charizard with a derped up face and skipping wings. And blazy can feet. Of course. Because he was a Charizard with a blazy can feet, if you know what I'm saying. Alright. And here's some more rejected Pokemon. There's about three more I forgot to show you. There's Papulai, which I've never shown you guys before, and it's, yeah, it's a piece of paper. You guessed it. The poop Pokemon. 
and I actually made these evolutions. If you want to see this guy, you can comment to me. Maybe I'll just go put him in. Maybe I'll just go put someone in. Just tell me which ones to keep in. Because here's his evolution, Poop Island, who looks the exact same almost. But he looks a lot different when he evolves into Arachnid Poo. Arachnid because he has eight arms slash legs and throws crap at you. Because appropriate and non-immature Pokemon are definitely not my favorite right now. I, I was just having a lazy day. I was like, let's make all of this. Oops. Alright, we're keeping it. Ah, oh, well, then it turned out we weren't keeping it, so I'm not even sure what I'm talking about right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy all these Pokemon. I hope you didn't enjoy the ones I'm getting rid of. I glad you didn't enjoy them and want me to keep them. Then tell me, and I'll tell you whether or not I'm, that's possible. Or whatever, or if I think you have a good idea or what. And maybe I'll even give you some top secret info if you tell me the right things. I just don't want to tell everybody top secret info, so you know what I'm saying. Anyways, guys, next up is a tour from Emory Garden, so you'll be seeing that right now. Hey, guys. So, I'm going to take you on a tour back to Memory Garden. Remember that place? That place is awesome. And since we last met up here, which was a long time ago, and so you guys can probably... Didn't even watch it. Sorry, I'm going to make this a bit. Some of you guys probably didn't even watch that, you know? Some of you guys are probably watching this because this is my 25 subscriber special. It means a lot to me, I guess, to have you guys here. And I've said this already, but I know most people don't have 25 subscriber special. So anyways, this is what I've been working on. The new and improved memory garden. Wavepoint and all. So let's go to the wavepoint because uh, I actually just walk through the door and see. From the start. This was my first build of the season, remember? It was to escape a mob. I think it was one of those night things. I forgot what they're called now. <laughs> I built this tower and climbed up and I was like, you can't get me here. And he couldn't. And it was perfect. So, I decided to commemorate that forever in Memory Garden. This is a blueberry bush. We all remember that. The magical jumpy scumpy. The orange, the big lemon tree. And Liam's lime killer. I trust the old friend, my loyal sword. It's a memorial to it. Because now we have this guy. He's a lot bigger. Sorry if you can hear Yagi from upstairs. That's my mom as usual. Another thing can I read over this. I made this a lot bigger. It's very cool. So if you guys don't remember, this stuff's incredibly painful. But it's okay. Because we have the magical jumpy grass. We have this. We have roses. And look at this. To Bubby, Blubby and Buggy. May we never forget them. And there we go. And it's two Blocklings that came and they're singing. And I know this is a bit blasphemous crew names, but there's Buggy and there's Blubby. And this way we'll never forget them. There's also um, another thing we have up above here, in case you haven't noticed. Unholy Terror. And I'll show you what that is if I have enough blocks. Shouldn't drop on this one for too long. <sighs> and it is a Wolper Tangler. I named it Evil. With two exclamation marks. Because that's what he is. It's pure evil. Nah, I just don't like Wolper Tangers. They're clearly satanic beings. Ah, so it's just kind of normal dirt, but it's like different normal dirt. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Alright, cool. So let's never forget those guys. Go to my restaurants. I have memory them with the roses. You could tame them all around them. I tried to put them on top of the fences, but it wouldn't work. And now you're starting to put you on Holy Terrier and Skep. The lime tree that grew the lime killer. Well, actually, that's not the one. But I believe the saplings from the one. Wait, actually, no, I used. Oh, yeah, I added poison ivy. I figured out what it was called. It's poison ivy. How the hell did I get this? Go for the Wolper Tanger. I. I'm not even sure, that's super weird. I I wasn't creative for some of it to like expand the area a bit to make it more clean only. Just so I could quickly get rid of trees. So sorry about that. If that's technical cheating, it's technical cheating, I guess, yes. But it was just so we could have this special. I just wanted to clear the trees out of the way. I didn't want to spend hours doing it. We have the mushrooms that I used to think were poisonous, but they weren't. And these they are poisonous. We have the old mushroom in the pot, the Twilight Forest portal I often fall into. 
my beautiful, beautiful blue mushroom. The infinite spring, everything's here. So if there's one thing that I forgot to remember, wait, if it's, uh, I guess that makes sense. All right, that's yeah. If I forgot to remember anything, you tell me in the comments, and I'll try and commemorate it forever. Something from my series, though, guys. All right. So yeah, and now I guess I should show you the waypoint. So I believe it was M. And yeah, I know. I love blue. Memory Garden is blue again. Everything's blue. Now, all I got here is a chest, is not a chest, but a torch. But it's nice. So there's lots of torches around here on all the corners of the fence and random areas around there and stuff. And I actually still got mobs that spawn in here when it comes dark. Right now I'm in peaceful mode just so I could have a quiet showcase. There's this one mob that makes like a skagic noise and it was super loud. So anyways guys, I think that's about all I have to show you. I'm probably going to clean that up in a bit. The little grass missing here. But yeah, I think that's everything. And so, may we never forget. Lamb's Lime Killer. The ultimate sword. This, oh, I forgot to put these things in there. Oh, why are you doing it? What? Oh, oh god. Lemonade helped me. Lemonade saved my life again, guys. Lemonade is a lifesaver. Remember that. Your parents say you're not allowed to drink like eight glasses of lemonade at, all at once. Same time. It's happened to me a lot. Just say lemonade saved my life in Minecraft. They'll probably not listen to you, but it's worth a shot. Just give it. Tell them I'm the one that told you that. They probably trust me. I don't know why I didn't trust me. I, I just lied. Anyways, see you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I believe this will be the end of it. I might have a little thing after this. But I believe this is the end of my um, happy fun times in our 25 subscriber commemorative episode. Oh, look. It's the original first build. Uh, may we never forget it. So anyways, guys. See ya. Bye.